Hey guys, Eric Sargent, General Manager at Martin Toyota, Noblesville, Indiana. Uh, made a video a couple weeks ago uh, showing our basic dual battery setup on a 200 series Land Cruiser. Wanted to take a few minutes this morning um, and show you um, kind of like our more advanced dual battery setup option that you can do. Um, so what we've done um, is we've actually relocated the crank battery from your typical uh, location on the right side and we've moved it over here. Um, we're using this Lee um, auxiliary battery tray, group 35 auxiliary battery tray. Um, so everything is rewired um, directly uh, to the left side for your cranking. Um, and then that gives us more, the reason for doing this is just because you have a lot physical larger spot on the left side, or on the right side, excuse me, to do, to put a, a nice big auxiliary battery. So what we've chosen on this particular setup is a yellow top for your, uh, for your slow draw aux battery. And then we've used um, a red top uh, just for higher uh, cold cranking amps. The batteries are linked together with a DC-DC. We're using the Red Arc BCDC 1240D. Um, we have a custom tra uh, mount that we've uh, clipped to the um, to the SLEE uh, Group 35 auxiliary battery tray. Um, and then of course we've rewired all the batteries. Um, all the wires are ran behind, or I'm sorry, in front of the radiator. I'm gonna go kind of slow with my phone here. So if anybody wants to kind of take any ideas, feel free. And then of course, um, you know, maybe pause the video just to kind of take a look at how the wiring is actually ran and what kind of brackets are being used to secure everything. And so on this particular project, um, we have a handful of, uh, we've, again, we have another um, uh, mounting, de uh, mounting device here for our breakers. We have the, um, this has a Switch Pro 9100 right here. Um, we also have the Red Arc, um, the DC DC. Um, we have 200 amps for the SBI um, so that we can jump the crank battery off the aux battery. Um, I'll show you that here in just a quick sec. Um, we also have uh, 200 amps going back to the rear for the power inverter and various other uh, additional outlets. This one has a twin air compressor, so there's 240 amps here. Relay power, 30 amps. Um, as far as the, um, the SBI, um, that's mounted to the right of the horn, if you can see that through the grill. Looks kind of like an um, looks kind of like an oil filter, um, but that that is controlled with a button right here next to the aux fuel tank. So that button right there will uh, link the two batteries together, so you can jump your uh, your crank battery with your auxiliary battery in the event that you needed to do that. There's a lot more electrical uh, modifications we've done on this particular vehicle. But this video is really just to show um, the, the difference between having um, just a small Group 35 auxiliary battery tray located here, depending on what your use case is, or um, just going ahead and full bore and then relocate the crank battery to the other side so you have a nice, massive um, uh, auxiliary battery um, for, your, for your needs. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to call me anytime. My name is Eric Sargent, Ed Martin Toyota, Noblesville, Indiana.